everybody, this is Anonymous X. I'm going to show you how to connect your Xbox to your Windows 10 computer and use it to type things into your Xbox and also stream on your local network to your Windows 10 computer. Now you're like, what is this thing? As you can see, move my mouse over, if I hit this button, it's Windows 10. This is a very small device. Here's my mouse, my hands touching the screen. It's a touch screen, as you can tell. Here's my Xbox controller in comparison to it. So you can see this is a very tiny screen. That's a story for another day. It's a GPD. It's the original version. And you can see it's got a built-in Xbox controller on it. But that's a story for another day because all of this will pertain. It is a full-fledged Windows 10 computer and does all the basic things that I need it to do and it even has on the back of it a mini US or not USB but HDMI to regular HDMI so if I need to connect it to a bigger TV or screen I can do so for right now this is going to get the job done and show you how you can connect your Xbox one through Windows 10 and use your computer to send information from the computer to the Xbox, type in text, and even stream games so you could be at home in a different room than your Xbox and be playing your games using your controller. Or even if you get one of these little devices, this little built-in thing. Although it's not really good for Twitch gaming, but you can actually get another controller and plug it into the computer if your controller can't reach. Now, obviously, my Xbox, you can see it in the... Uh, background. Oh look, our lovely vacuum. We were vacuuming today. It looks so good. Uh, but you can see the uh, our little console. Looks like we need to clean things up. Wow. Um, is sitting inside the uh, our very nice uh, hutch there with a 55 inch screen TV. Yay. So what I'm going to first do is I am going to log in to my Xbox. I'm going to put my phone down because I don't want you to see my password. So one moment please. Turning on my controller because I let it go. Go ahead and sign in. Who are you? I am me. It's thinking about it. Let me have my password. There we go. I know this is the interesting part of the video, guys. You can hear that noise. Oh, a nice long password. You'll never guess it. Okay, I'm logging in. Okay, you get to see now again. Oh, here we go. My controller, my Xbox. Oh, look, see? There we go. And there's my background. You can tell I'm a big Elder Scrolls Online fan. And I am going to launch the Elder Scrolls. Let it do its thing. Obviously, there it is. It's going to make that noise. It's going to have that sound. Now we're going to go back to my GPD Win. Gamepad Digital Performance Edition. Yay! So you know this is running Windows 10. And Windows 10, as you all know, if you have basic knowledge, has an Xbox app in it. So I'm going to launch that app. Ooh, that's loud. We're going to have the Elder Scrolls song playing here in just a moment. So I'm going to turn the TV down. Oh, hello Zenimax, ad for you. Turn the volume down, not so loud. There we go. All the disclaimers. Yep, see, I am playing a game. Oh, see? Now, here's the Xbox app. I'm logged in there too. And on the side here, what you do is you scroll down and do you see how it looks? It says connection. I'm gonna zoom in on that just a little more. So this is a small screen. Looks like an Xbox. You click on it. Well, look at that. I have two Xboxes in my house. Living room. I'm in my living room. What do you know? There's Morrowind. Um, latest patch. All that. Looks great. Vacuum cleaner. Console. Stand. All that. Okay. Back to X, uh, Windows 10. 
you want to see what does it look like if I connect to this. So I'm going to stream. It's connecting. And there are no controllers connected to this PC. That's okay. Just hit continue because if you can see Morrowind. Could, look at this. If I can get that shot. And to prove this is the same thing, not a fluke, I'm going to hit press A to start. I said press A to start. Wow. Do I have this thing slid over? Oh. Technical difficulties. This always works. Okay, I'm going to try hitting home. There we go. Oh, see? There it is. I'm going to go home. Okay. I'm obviously streaming from the Xbox to my... So I'll just click that again. Should let me in now. Come on, guys. I want to show how this works. Okay. Now on this GPD, since it is acting as Windows 10, I'm going to slide this little switcher here. You see how the switch has a logo? And the one all the way over to the right, if you see it right here, is an Xbox logo. And now if I hit the A button over here, it's in Xbox controller mode, so I can hit A, and it should start loading. And my battery's running low. Oh, I gotta plug it in. Let's go back to plugging in my poor computer. There we go. Forgot I had it unplugged because of purposes. And also, you can hear the, the sound playing. That's pretty, pretty sad. I don't want to... My battery's running low again. Okay, I'm going to put my phone down again. Sorry, technical difficulties, people. Just deal with it. I don't know how to edit. Okay. All better. Okay, so now we have play here. Play there. As you can tell, I'm on the North American server if you play ESO. Elder Scrolls Online. Oh my goodness. I'm going to move the little switch right here back over to middle, which means it now acts as a mouse on the TV, on the computer. So back here, let's see. Hitting A. Should work. I love technical difficulties. Okay. So I'm going to slide it back over. and hit A again. Let's see what happens. It's going to load. It's going to let me in. Great, huh? Now, what if I want to send a message to a friend? So I'm going to hit the, on this one, there's a button right here. It's the uh, Xbox button. Brings up the menu. Let's see. Let me back out of here. I have different characters. Yes, I dress all my girls slutty. Just deal with it. So, I'm going to go up to my usual. I got the new hair. Yay! Yeah, I paid the money for it. Calm down. Okay. Now, you can see this works. You can see that you could use this little thing to control it. You could pick it up. Another cool thing about this little computer is you can lay it out completely flat like that. And then on the back of it, there are triggers that will act as the bumper and the trigger. It's not quite the same. doesn't feel the same. These are very small in comparison. But if you absolutely need to, then you could um, use it almost like 
It's a Game Boy. Pretty swell, huh? Okay, so we know that works. And for some weird reason, I can't get my normal controller to work on the for the Xbox. It, it wants to only let the computer do it. Bad computer, no donut. So I am going to slide this out for now. Okay, I've loaded in. Now, I'm going to, so let me grab my mouse. I'm going to stop streaming. Controller disconnected. Okay, so I'm going to try and get my controller to reconnect. So I'm going to pull the power out of my uh, other controller and plug it back in. I've got a battery pack, you know, rechargeable. Very handy. Okay, so now I'm making all this mistake. So it's on, it's that's on, that's on. Now when I hit, now here we go. This is why I was trying to demonstrate. Thank you for bearing with me, people. Um, this is why I want to demonstrate. Everything's good there. Now I'm going to go back. I'm going to relaunch, and this should work. Sometimes it's a little goofy, and I'll show you how to fix that. But go back to the Xbox app. So I'm going to zoom in. You can see that's here. Also, I'm going to show you how to make this not full screen so that you can still use your computer uh, as a computer while this is running as just another you know, program on your computer instead of it just hogging up the whole screen. And I had to kind of figure it out. It's not intuitive. And Microsoft, if you ever watch this, you're a bunch of asses for doing it like this, but hey. Uh, stream again. So see living room, it's my living room one. Connecting. So you can see it says start streaming. Start streaming, continue. Now let's make sure my controller is still working. Xbox controller. Yay, it worked. Woohoo. Okay, now I want to put something in text chat or change something in game and this will also work in messages so I'm trying to angle this out um, obviously I'm using my Xbox controller because I'm not using this or using the keyboard or my mouse um, I'm gonna go down to social if you play this game you know what I'm talking about I'm gonna hit X for text chat and you see where I, it says say, if I hit A on the box, it's going to pop up a box, but look at my computer. It popped up a box here on the computer. Type on Xbox One. So I'm going to type in on my keyboard, test. T-E-S-T. -E it's, oh, my battery's running low again. Okay. Yeah, I do want to plug in my PC. I had it plugged in, guys. Okay, calm down. Okay. But typed, let's type that again. T-E-S-T. -E it types there. Then I'm going to use the mouse and send it to the Xbox. It types here. Now it's on the Xbox here and on the TV. I'm going to hit X for send. And look it, you can see it worked. So another thing I'm gonna do before my computer decides it's gonna crap out completely is this is really filling up the whole screen. I couldn't figure out how to make this go away. You gotta use your mouse and go all the way in the upper right hand corner and voila, you, can't, you don't just turn it off. There's this little, you can see it. When you finally touch the top, the two arrows pointing at each other. I've never seen anything else in Windows. That's really great. So I'm going to click that. All of a sudden, it's an expanded window. And then you can then hit this. And you can resize your window on your computer, whatever you need to, so that the it fits. And you can then just make, playing on your Xbox, just another thing. So if you've got a really big monitor, 
you can plug your computer into it, run it through that, just be doing other things. In um, ESO, a lot of times you're looking up things online. I will often have the internet running. Um, we launch Chrome. And I'll show you one use I have for it if, before my computer dies. Uh, let's see. That's very nice, Facebook. But I've, well, there goes my computer. Okay, but I have used it where it is a second screen. And I have, oh, hi, everybody. Um, I have one of those guides where it shows me where the survey maps are. And I have it on the corner, zoomed into the spot that I need. So then I'm running in. Elder Scrolls to that spot and it makes it a lot easier for me to do my surveys picking up all my um, materials that I get from playing the game but anyways I apparently didn't have this plugged in properly or something happened and my computer decided to die so I'm a bad computer mommy I'm gonna have to plug it in and feed it but anyways um, on that note everybody say hi to Xbox that was typed as you could see on my computer, you could see Windows 10. It's actually pretty easy. You saw how to get to it, scroll to it, and how to minimize that window. And now that I've completely obstructed everything that I'm looking at, whoops, there we go. I'm going to wave goodbye, post this on um, YouTube, and you can all mock me. Talk to you later. Bye-bye.